In any game, it's always better to spend less time making mistakes and more time enjoying the game. A SnowRunner Season 10 Fix and Connect is not very difficult, but I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that could help you in British Columbia region. Let's start with the first one which is very important in my opinion and that's why I'm saying it at the beginning of the video. I'm sure so many people know about it but I'm saying it for a few people who doesn't know. So we have two of these big unique trailers in Duncan Bay and where you need to deliver them is kind of close to each other and there are two roads that gets you to your destination. One of them is here on this side of the map and the other one is right here. So the thing is for both of these roads you have to go up a mountain to get to your destination and that would be a really difficult thing to do when you are hauling a very big heavy trailer basically going for either of these roads would be like hell but if you take a look at this side of the map you see that there is a small path that gets you to your destination when you look at this area in the map you might think oh it's very difficult it's like a swamp or something but no, it's not actually a very difficult area. Compared to those two roads, this one is like Disneyland. When you first get on this path, those rocks might cause you a bit of a problem, but you can easily go over them. And once you go up this hill, the rest would be easy. You're just gonna go downhill until you reach the swamp. And once you get there, this area might look a bit difficult, but it's really not that hard. For these two big trailers, sure you need a capable truck. I went for Zig 605R and I had no problem. But when I went for those two other roads, I had the same truck Zig 605R, but that trip was genuinely painful. Going up that mountain or hill or whatever it was, was really difficult. Even with some of the best trucks that we have for pulling these big trailers, it was incredibly hard. But on the other hand, that other path was way easier. Yes, I wasn't going very fast or anything like that, but I was making a good amount of progress. And another good thing is, even if you get stuck, there are so many good winch points that you can use to help yourself out. And even when you need to deliver some cargo to those locations, I still suggest to take this path to there. But keep that in mind, at the end of this path, there is a pipeline that at first it's broken and it's blocking the path. So at first you need to fix that and for that you need one large pipe and after that you can easily just go for this path all the time. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go for how to start our journey in British Columbia. First, if you take a look at the map, you'll see that we have so many watchtowers in this map. So you don't really need to use the exploration unit trailer in this map. Just get in your scout vehicle, go and unlock all the watchtowers and you have basically discovered the whole map. You don't really need that exploration unit trailer. And this region is very beautiful so just take your time, do your scouting, unlock the watchtowers and enjoy the roads and the view in this region. Now one of the best scout trucks in this region in my opinion is the Ford F750. In this region you don't really need a very capable scout truck like TUZ420 Tatarin or Yar87. It's better to use a scout vehicle that is fast, stable and handles very good and Ford F750 is one of those trucks. Other than Ford, Razvani Hercules and Lodestar 1700 are two other very good scouts for this region. Now after you're done scouting, you might think your priority now 
is to fix bridges and clear out the rocks from the roads. But no, your priority after scouting should be completing this contract, the unfinished business at the plant. Why you should do it? Because this contract is like a key to everything in this map. After you complete this contract, you will have access to a warehouse that gives you concrete slabs. And you need concrete slabs to clear out the roads, you need concrete slabs to build other warehouses, and you need concrete slabs to have access to the gateway to the other map. Now with that, you have everything to build bridges and clear out the roads. Now after you were done building the bridges and clearing out the roads, you could go for the ferry. Ferry is really not that important because 10 meters away from the ferry, there is a path that you can take to get to the other side. Ferry is like necessary for maybe one or two contracts. For the rest of the time, it's a good help, but it's not necessary. So you can unlock the ferry whenever you want it. Now, at this point, you can basically complete all the contracts that you can complete in Duncan Bay. For going to the next map, the North Peak National Park, first you need to complete a contract for it. And the contract is very simple. You need two concrete slabs and one service spare parts. After you delivered the concrete slabs, I want you to do yourself a favor. Instead of one service spare parts, put two service spare parts on your truck and head to that gateway. Why? Because one of the first things that you would do in the next map is going for the second garage. And on your way to the second garage, you'll see that the road to the garage is blocked and you need one service spare parts for that task to clear out the road. And now you have that one service spare parts. So you just save 20 minutes of your life. Okay, the next thing I wanna say is the task to unlock the Mac defense. The task is located at the north of the map. This task has two stages, repairing and refueling the Mac and then delivering it to the east service center. But if you're in a truck that doesn't have any repair points, you don't really need to repair and refuel the Mac right off the bat. Just tow the Mac to your garage, then bring another truck that has a van body add-on, repair and refuel the Mac, and tow it for like another 100 meters to the East Service Center. Because the East Service Center is literally beside your garage. Now you have unlocked your trucks and you would probably use the new trucks a lot in this region. But what other trucks are good in this region? In my opinion, most of the trucks that are fast are very good for this region. And avoid using trucks that are capable but slow, like Azov 64131 or Tatra Force. They are good and capable trucks, but they are a bit slow. And in this region, fast trucks are in general better than slower trucks. So I would recommend going for fast trucks that handles very good. This region is not really that hard, so you don't really need a very, very capable truck. Almost any truck is good to use in this region. Two of the trucks that I want to recommend to use are the Tatra Phoenix and a step pike a step pike could be one of the best trucks that you could use in this region it's a fast truck but when you go fast you won't really lose the control of the truck and it handles very good but the good thing about this region is you can really go for any truck that you want and that's it for today's video i see you on the next one